Now another installment in our science series, Lab 304. WVU's physics department has begun a program that could open up the whole universe. Astrophysics is the study of the cosmos, and it's receiving a lot of attention on campus and at a very quiet place in Pocahontas County. In this Lab 304 segment, Mike Youngren introduces us to the two astronomers hired to lead the way. And there's three 85-foot telescopes on site, and they're identical. We're putting in a proposal, which is due November 1st, to revitalize those 85-foot telescopes and use them to detect these transient bursts that we recently discovered in the park's data. So that should be really good if we get the money to do that. Dr. Maura McLaughlin and Dr. Duncan Lorimer are scientists. They are physicists. They are astronomers. They met and fell in love in the shadow of the giant radio telescope at Arecibo in Puerto Rico. He's getting ready to signal the satellite. How do you stop it? The transmitter above the antenna. <laughs> Yes, that one. McLaughlin and Lorimer are a real team. They are married. They have two little boys. This is Callum, and he just turned two. And this is Finley, and he's going to be four months any day now. In 2006, McLaughlin and Lorimer arrived in Morgantown to become assistant professors at West Virginia University. They came to West Virginia to help us learn more about the universe. They've been hired to establish a center for astrophysics, and they've received a substantial grant to help make that possible. But let's rewind this story a couple of years. In 2004, astronomers Maura McLaughlin and Duncan Lorimer were part of a team studying a unique double pulsar system in the constellation Puppis. You may ask yourself, what's a pulsar? Or better yet, we'll both ask astronomer Duncan Lorimer. So, um, so a star like the Sun is supporting itself, preventing from um, collapsing in under its own gravity by nuclear fusion in the core. Um, but eventually, it'll run out of fuel and it'll collapse. And stars that are many times bigger than the Sun, when they do that, they will form pulsars. And this is a pulsar is, a, is a, what astrophysicists call a neutron star. It's the condensed core of a star, and it's just basically a ball of neutrons at nuclear density. One pulsar is a very interesting thing all by itself. But when you discover two of these intensely dense bodies orbiting each other at a very close range, well, the scientific opportunities are quite amazing. Amazing like allowing scientists McLaughlin and Lorimer a chance to test Einstein's general theory of relativity. We just want to find new things. And we don't really have many preconceptions about exactly what we're going to find or what, what we're going to do with them. We just do pulsar searches hoping to find interesting objects. And when we found this object, this double pulsar system, we immediately knew it would be a, be a fantastic test you know, for general relativity, but we weren't out specifically looking, you know, for that system. Um, but now that we've found it, we've of course studied it with the GBT and with Parks and Jodrell Bank, all of these telescopes. The Jodrell Telescope is in Manchester, England. The Parks Telescope is in Australia, a few hours west of Sydney. The GBT, Green Bank Telescope, nicknamed the Great Big Telescope, is here in West Virginia, in Pocahontas County in a place called the Quiet Zone. The double pulsars orbit each other every 2.4 hours, exactly. One is spinning very quickly, a rotation each 23 milliseconds, precisely. The other, called pulsar B, takes somewhat longer, faithfully rotating every 2.8 seconds. Because of their absolute reliability, these tandem pulsars offered scientists the opportunity to measure subtle shifts in the radio spectrum signals that come our way. Cool. Albert Einstein predicted nearly a century ago that gravity came in waves, 
and the waves would bend and warp when in the presence of something as massive as a pulsar. He also predicted that space-time warping would cause radio waves, including light, to bend. Guess what? It's one of the things we can do with pulsars, is try to detect these gravity waves that Einstein predicted would exist. One of the things that the GBT is very good at doing. Because of the work of Mara McLaughlin, Duncan Lorimer, and the scientific team they were part of, scientists can now say with certainty that Einstein was 99.95% correct. Close enough for government work. Every once in a while we find something just completely new, a new kind of pulsar that just blows away every theory that theorists have had. Theorists will say there should not be a pulsar spinning faster than this, and then we'll find it. Mm -hmm. There should not be a pulsar spinning slower than this, and then we'll find it. Yeah. Um, so we're, we're just constantly finding new things. Three steps forward, five steps back. But back to the present. Everyone says, oh, you must spend all your time at home talking about pulsars. And we really don't. I mean, we very rarely at home sit around talking about pulsars. It's always much more mundane things like where the diapers are and what class we have this weekend and what we're going to do for people's birthdays and yeah. you know it's like just basic family stuff really. The Green Bank facility has been pointing radio telescopes toward the sky for almost 50 years. Little dishes at first, then bigger. And then the biggest, the Robert C. Bird Green Bank Telescope. The radio telescopes allow the astronomers to search back in time for signs of the beginning the very start of everything, and to give us a handle on where we might be going. The things that motivate us at the very heart of it are spiritual questions, like where did we come from, why are we here, how is you know, the world and life going to end, how, how long has the planet existed? I mean, these are sort of spiritual questions, they're really big questions, but we're doing such a tiny bit of our little piece to answer them. Mara and Duncan nicknamed their family the McLorimers by combining their last names. They've come to West Virginia to help us learn more about the universe.